Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how to make one of my husband's favorite takeout dishes, which is sweet and sour chicken, at home with the ingredients you can control, and I'm telling you, it's fantastic, and it's easy, and it's delicious, and you're going to just love it. So let me run you through the list of ingredients, because it's, it's not super short, but it's all things you probably already have on hand, so it's all good stuff. Starting off with some diced bell peppers and onions, roughly chopped. You don't want them to be too small. I've got green, red, and I've got yellow onion, a couple of eggs. You need garlic, brown sugar, regular sugar. This is rice wine vinegar. You can also use apple cider vinegar, ketchup, soy sauce, salt and pepper, your chicken, your cornstarch, and some frying oil. That's all you're going to need for right now, and I, well, that's all you're going to need, really. I'm going to show you how to make it. It's really easy and simple. Let's work on the dredging. Now, I've also got my oven preheated to 325 because I like to obviously cook my chicken now, but then mix everything together and cook it into the oven, and it's perfection every time. So that's what I'm going to do today. But you can actually do the whole thing on the skillet, um, in a skillet if you want to. You would just have to make sure that you are changing out your oil. So I've got my salt and pepper to both my cornstarch and my eggs. You want to make sure that both layers are seasoned. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Like I said, this is really easy. It's not that difficult. And um, by just doing it all into the oven, it kind of saves you the extra step of having to clean. I'm also salt peppering my chicken. Of having to clean the skillet and yada, yada. Okay, I'm also not deep frying. We're just shallow frying some salt. And now what you're going to do at this point is you're going to take your seasoned chicken you're gonna just dip into the egg, okay? And just dredge a little in your cornstarch. Doesn't have to be perfect, just pop that on there and continue to do that until you're all done. My oil is nice and hot. You can see the chicken's already and it's gonna get kind of gunky towards the end. Do not panic. It's fine, it will get crispy and delicious. That's actually a good thing because you'll get lots of nibbly bits around the chicken pieces. And I'm going to just cook these probably in two batches because this is a pretty big pan. But you just want to cook this in batches until the chicken becomes really nice and crispy. It doesn't have to be cooked all the way through at this point because it's going to finish cooking in the oven. So once the chicken's all done, we put the sauce together. We just, it's fabulous. Chicken's all cooked, it's really nice and crispy, and you really need that coating so that the sauce has something to adhere to and not just like fall to the bottom of your dish. So we're gonna get started on making the actual sauce because everything just needs to be whisked together because it's gonna cook all together in the oven. I've got some water. Two, I'm gonna add both kinds of sugar, soy, the vinegar, ketchup, I know it looks like a really strange combo, but all together makes for a fantastic sweet and sour chicken. I promise. And then the garlic, I just kind of added to this stage just because I feel like it disperses better throughout the whole thing. Just give that a really good whiskeroo. And the, the sugar is really going to help this thicken as it cooks. And also, so will the coating on the chicken. So now we're going to just pretty much put everything in a big baking dish. How you like my big red cheerful baking dish, huh? The chicken, and then you're gonna pour the sauce over top. Look at that. You wanna make sure there's plenty of sauce because if you're gonna serve this with rice or anything, you need to make sure that it's there's plenty of sauce there. Now, you're gonna cook this into the oven. I've got it at 325 for about 45 minutes, but you're gonna need to come in here and give this a stir every 15 minutes or so. So you'll want to make sure to do that, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. And it looks like at this point, there's not enough sauce, but there will be. Once everything starts cooking and gets starts thickening and it sticks to the chicken and stuff, it's going to be perfect. So pop that in, and we'll see it. 45 minutes for you, 10 seconds for you, if not let us. After about an hour in the oven, stirring it every 15 minutes, I mean, look how beautiful that is. It has thickened, it's the sauce. I'm just gonna put this on a different plate because I want you to see the color not against the red. Do you know what I mean? Because I was afraid that you wouldn't see how beautiful. Look at that sauce. I mean, that is perfection to me. And you could put more sauce on it if you want it you know, really, really saucy for your rice or your cauliflower rice or whatever you serve it with. I think this is 
perfect because the sauce is quite flavorful. It's got that tang, it's got the sweetness, and I don't think I need any extra of it. But what I do like is a little sprinkle of sesame seeds on top. And that is absolute perfection. And no wonder this is one of Joe's favorites. I didn't want to get a smaller piece because I want to get the whole thing in my mouth. The pepper, I didn't even bother sauteing the peppers and onions because they got to that perfect, so soft but semi still crunchy phase in the oven. It's, I'm telling you, it's perfect. Mm. You know, the tang is perfect. The sweetness is spot on. I could eat this entire thing and feel zero ounce of guilt because I know exactly what went in it. And you could use a um, reduced sugar ketchup if you want to or a sugar replacement if that's your thing. It is phenomenal. You are going to love it. Go to laurainthekitchen.com to get the brain recipe. I hope you enjoy spending time with me and I will see you next time.